everybody. Um, today's video is about solving multi-step equations and this goes with the learning goal. I can write and solve multi-step equations and use them to solve problems. This right here is an example of a multi-step equation and so when we go ahead and solve these equations we are going to follow similar steps to the ones that we followed when we were solving our two-step equations. So we are adding in a second step of simplifying before we undo addition or subtraction and before we undo multiplication and division. And that simplifying step can be something like combining like terms or it can also be um, using the distributive property or possibly something else, although those will be the main ones. So I'm going to take this equation and show you what that would look like here. So my first step is to copy the original equation. I'm going to go ahead and do that, okay? And then when it says to combine like terms, what that means is take um, terms that have the same power and the same variable or that are just whole numbers and put them together. So um, that was in the last video and now we're going to be applying that within this new video. So I see that I have a 3n and I also have a 4n. And notice that all of the operations in this equation are addition. So I can move the terms around as much as I want. I can use the commutative property because addition has that commutative property. So I'm going to go ahead and combine 3n and 4n. So if I have 3n's and then I have four more n's, when I add those together I am going to end up with 7n. And then I'm still having my plus 9 equals 2. So I, there's nothing else I can combine there that's all on one side of the equal sign together. So I've simplified as much as possible. So now I'm going to go ahead and undo my addition or subtraction. In this case, I'm going to be undoing the addition by subtracting 9 from both sides. And so that gives me 7n equals negative 7. And then I have to write really small here um, and divide both sides by 7 because now I am undoing um, the multiplication and so 7n, the 7's cancel and I get n equals negative 7 divided by 7 is negative 1. So um, once you've combined, once you've done that second step of simplifying you should be left with just a two-step equation to solve. So here is one that you can try for yourself. Um, so go ahead and pause the video now copy that equation down and solve it and then come back and see what I got. So here's what I did and you might want to pause the video again to just kind of look over the steps. Um, notice that the 5b here was positive and then we also had minus 2b there, which is the same as adding a negative. That minus has to stay with the 2b, so when I combine those two, I get a positive 3b. Um, so my solution ended up being b equals negative 11. All right, so your class hopes to collect 1,200 turnable bottles to raise money for a class trip during the first week the 24 students in your class collect an average of 34 bottles each. How many more bottles per student should the class collect? And what you need to notice here when you're writing an equation is there are 24 students. They have each already collected 34 bottles. Plus, we want to know how many more each student has to collect. So I'm going to write that that way because the total bottles that each student must collect would be that 34 plus we don't know how many more. And then that total number of bottles that each student collects, we're going to multiply by 24 to figure out how many bottles were collected in all. And that gives us 1,200, which is how many we hope to collect. And there are two ways that we can solve this equation. So I'm going to copy my equation down. now. The first thing I could do is I could use the distributive property and I could multiply 24 times 34 and 24 times C. So I would get 816 plus 24C equals 1200. And now again, I just have a two-step equation that I need to solve. So doing it that way, um, I ended up with a two-step equation and then I subtracted 
and then divided and ended up with c equals 16. The other way that you can do this is um, to recognize that I am multiplying two things together on this side of the equal sign, 24 and whatever that is equal to. So I can think of this as being a multiplication equation. I'm multiplying 24 times something and that needs to equal 1200. So I could, first of all, undo that multiplication. And then I wouldn't have to use the distributive property. So if I actually just extend that line and think of this as dividing that whole side by 24 and dividing this whole side by 24, my 24s would cancel. I end up with 34 plus C equals 50. And then I subtract 34 from both sides. So I get C equals 16 again. So you can see I get the same um, solution either way. It's just that this way I'm sort of chunking this 34 plus C into one term and thinking of this first as a multiplication equation and then once I've gotten rid of my term that I'm multiplying over here, then I'm doing the subtraction. The answer to the free response question is ruby red slippers. So here's another similar type of equation where I could either distribute or I could divide both sides. So um, I'm going to go ahead and distribute um, and just multiply 5 times 2.9 and then also 5 times k. So I get 14.5 plus 5k equals 8.3 and then I would need to subtract 14.5 on both sides and then divide. So I get a negative 1.24. And I could also have um, solved this by dividing both sides right off the bat by 5 and then subtracting 2.9 once I'd done that. So here is an equation for you to try. Um, so go ahead again and pause the video and try solving that one on your own and then come back and see what I got. So again, you might want to pause the video here and just look this over again, but you can see either way that I solve it, I got 15.5 for my solution. All right, here are your free response multiple choice questions. Go ahead and pause the video and then answer these two questions, and I'll see you tomorrow.